Construction. Construction of a Nihonto katana. Katana means a curved single aged Japanese sword. It is very interesting and evolved from Aryan era as Koto to Heisei era as Gendaito. Steel from soft to hard. Homogeneous steel in matter of carbon quantity is the key for sword making. You have different steel types. You have Shigane, soft steel, equivalent of 1045 carbon steel from modern steel. It's a soft steel, don't keep well sharpness, but endure shocks. Can bend easily, don't keep sharpness. You have Kawagane, it's medium carbon steel, equivalent of modern 1060. It has 0.6 percentage of carbon in the steel instead of the Shigane that has around 0.45 percentage of carbon in the steel. The Kawagane is medium steel, keeps sharpness and endures shock, can bend and keep sharpness. You have Hagane, that is hard steel, equivalent of the modern 1095 carbon steel or T10. 0.95 percentage of carbon in 1095 and 1.05 percentage of carbon in T10. It's the higher uh, level of carbon, is the harder uh, type of steel. It can go to 1.2 percentage of carbon on special type of hagane, especially uh, as tama hagane. Hard steel keeps very well sharpness, doesn't endure shocks, can break and easily if it's shocked against a hardened material. Construction Swords from the 16th century and previous centuries have been analyzed by various authors to name one serial stainless smith, where the carbon content was the same throughout all the sword, around 0.5% of carbon in the steel. This means that the blade was created with one single type of steel, just like their counterparts in other parts of the world. With cross-section, it was possible to observe a blade made without the lamination method but with a single block of material. Were these swords inferior? No, not in terms of strength. In fact, they didn't have the welding lines inside the material and so no possible failure points. On the other hand, they had a softer edge, which is by no means a pure disadvantage, especially when said swords were supposed to be used against armor, unlike the later ones. These swords were actually much more expensive to make because the steel required was of high medium carbon content and composed the entire blade rather than only the edge. So laminated sword from Edo to Heisei era were less expensive in Tamahagane costs, using only Hagane for the edge, than sold from Eian to Muromachi era using only Kawagane or Hagane. In matter of Kenjutsu on the field of battle, it makes sense because too hard edge hitting an armor wouldn't be practical and so easy to break. Also against another sword if we think about defense and attack for Kenjutsu. One Piece Forge one piece forging from Eian era to Muromachi era as Koto, what we call old sword, is Maru. You have the two pieces forged, two pieces structure from Eian era to Edo era as Koto, or sword, with Kobuze, the famous Kobuze, and you have laminate construction from Edo to Eisei era as Gendaito, with Onsanmai, Shiozume, Soshukitai, and others. High temperature was not obtained by the time of a koto in a Tatara iron mill. For the reason, pig iron, iron and steel were made harmonious. Swordsmiths did serious device in order to make a good ground metal, jigane. Therefore, there is a difference in steel materials for every swordsmith and every school and the difference of the ability of a swordsmith arose. The beauty and the excellent performance, it is pliant and strong of a blade was realized in combining steel materials of a different kind. The hard tamahagane of mass production appeared in innovation of the Tatara of the Keicho Age, around 1060. 
an iron mill sorts out steel and came to supply it to a swordsmith. Therefore, the primitive Tatara iron mill declined and changed the supply organization of steel. It was forced by swordsmiths to use this tamahagane without acceptance or declining. Since this tamahagane was too hard, the conventional sword making stopped accepting. Then the structure of a new blade was invented, laminate construction. Since the labor of the swordsmiths for devising a ground metal was mitigated, they may have supported this tamahagane. It seems that use of the salt and barbarian iron imported at the same time supports it supports this. The world a good thing becomes impossible if people begin to live in comfort is tinctured with sincerity. In the middle of the Edo period, the still harder tamahagane of mass production appeared in improvement of a tatara. Did this mass production tamahagane contribute to improvement in arms performance and blade beauty? Reality was reverse and redder. Compared with the koto, it was proved from the testimony of a Polish and Martian artist and verification in a battle that the performance of a sword and the beauty of a blade were retreating clearly. Iron and a man worsen as the time falls. It is true. A sword is still less than the level of a koto. The tamahagane myth obscured it. As long as the hard tamahagane of the uniform mass production is used, and one piece forging is inferior. Therefore, the laminate construction of hard steel and soft steel was devised. It is important to note that a katana in feudal times should not take any shock on the edge, but instead on the sides or on the back, mune, for kenjutsu defense. This is very logical because uchi katana has a very hard edge, making it very efficient for cutting. But however, very fragile on impact against another sword because hard steel doesn't and your shocks and break easily. Contrary to western swords from middle age were less sharp but more flexible and resilient for defense on the age, as affirmed Stefan Roth, swordsmith from Germany in Jorg Sprave interview, ten seal strength is key. European swords are hardened all the way and act much like a spring. Apparently, mono steel blade as koto were not less efficient and strong than two pieces forged blade and laminated blade because with time during Shinto and Shin Shinto era, swords craft became more artistical and aesthetical than practical for field of battle. So laminated blades were more a swordsmith's performance of his high craft knowledge and skills. Geometry. You know the famous Shinogizukuri, a strong core with or without Niku, Shinogi Suji high or low, Shinogiji narrow or wide, Hiraji narrow or wide, with or without groove. You know the other famous uh, geometry blade type, Hirazukuri, has a triangle um, shape. And you know, of course, the double edge uh, shape of geometry blade, Moroa Zukuri. So the shape evolved from Nara era straight blade to Eian era, very long curved blade, Astachi, for horse battle, to Edo Meiji Ace era with less curved and shoulder blades for dual and then only for aesthetical and control purpose. 